government mm -hmm. housing policy. But on the hours of Scilly, that right to buy may soon be abolished. The council there is running desperately short of rented homes, so much so that young islanders are being forced to move away. Fewer than 2,000 people live on the Scillies. More than 80% of them occupy the island of St Mary's. There's enormous pressure on the council to build more homes. Few islanders can afford to buy privately when a typical £40,000 cottage in Cornwall can be £75,000 to £80,000 over here. The right to buy has made matters worse. Council tenants have sold out at irresistible profits. The only answer seems to be to take away that right. But doesn't that cut right across government policy? Well, it does. Uh, Mrs Thatcher's legislation is uh, a property-owning democracy, and that may be fine in the rest of the UK, but it does affect the sillies quite drastically, really, and our housing stock is a small one. And because of the uh, pressures put on the council to house, uh, you know, council staff, uh, teaching staff and the like, uh, the right to buy, I feel, shouldn't apply to these islands. The pressures are summed up by these new homes in Hewtown. They were built only on condition they were occupied by permanent island residents. But the locals couldn't afford them. Now all but two of the twelve are second homes or summer lets. The private market is totally out of the question. You know, The, the wage structure in the islands uh, as in parts of Cornwall is much lower than the rest of the UK, mainland. And uh, the chances of young people being able to get a mortgage for a place that can be well in excess of 120, 130,000 pounds for a small cottage is just out of the question. There's no way they can do it or sustain that sort of thing. So we must have houses in the rented sector to maintain our flow of young people within the islands. The new structure plan depends on housing associations to provide for the needs of the islanders, but only 10 new houses are planned between now and the year 2001. As for those fortunate off-islands, they'll be left untouched. The policy now is a total ban on new building. A definite problem by the seams of it on the Isles of Scilly there. Now, Torquay United Football Club warned today that they could go out of business if they're forced to pay for the improvements suggested.